Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Reading with Tsar. Today we have a simple story, but relax, there's something for people who feel in a basic level and things for people who think they're intermediate or advanced. Just in case, I don't speak Spanish in these videos. Sometimes it's necessary. Today we are going to read The City Mouse and the Country Mouse, a short fable by Aesop. So first we are going to read the story. We have a box, like this one, where I'm going to play some vocabulary. If any vocabulary is missing or some expressions are not clear, please write them in the comments. When we finish the story, we are going to have some questions, divided in three levels. After the questions, I'm going to show you the ideal answers, and then you compare. But please, write your answers here in the comments too. Okay, let's start the story. Okay, I need my storybook for this. <clears throat> a city mouse once visited a relative who lived in the country. For lunch, the country mouse served wheat stalks, roots, and acorns, with a dash of cold water for drink. The city mouse ate very sparingly, nibbling a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And by her manner making it very plain that she ate the simple food only to be polite. I don't like the city mouse. She doesn't seem nice. After the meal, the friends had a long talk. Or rather, the city mouse talked about her life in the city while the country mouse listened. They then went to bed in a cozy nest in the hedgerow and slept in quiet and comfort until morning. In her sleep, the country mouse dreamed she was a city mouse with all the luxuries and delights of city life that her friend had described for her. So the next day, when the city mouse asked the country mouse to go home with her to the city, she gladly said yes. Uh, not a good idea. When they reached the mansion in which the city mouse lived, they found on the table in the dining room the livings of a very fine banquet. There were sweetmeats and jellies, pastries, delicious cheeses, indeed, the most tempting foods that a mouse can imagine. Um, this is not looking good. I mean, they'll building like everything is fine, but you know, something's gonna happen. But just as the country mouse was about to nibble a dainty bit of pastry, she heard a cat mew loudly. Meow. Or like, Meow. well, imagine a cat. And scratched at the door. In great fear, the mice scurried to a hiding place, where they lay quite still for a long time hardly daring to breathe. When at last they ventured back to the feast, the door opened suddenly and in came the servants to clear the table, <laughs> followed by the house dog. Yep, yeah, those poor mice are out of luck. The country mouse stopped in the city mouse's den only long enough to pick up her carpet bag and umbrella. You may have luxuries and dainties that I have not, she said as she hurried away. But I prefer my plain food and simple life in the country with the peace and security that go with it. So the moral of the story is, poverty with security is better than plenty in the midst of fear and uncertainty. What do you think? Book aside, and now for some questions. Okay, level 1 questions, mainly for people who are in A1. You have to match the vocabulary. What is this? Is it a root? No. So which one is which? We all say one mouse. What about for two? Or three? Or four? What is the correct plural of mouse? What was the country food like for the city mouse? Tasty? Plain? Disgusting? What is polite? To be educated? To have good manners? To be sincere? Level two. The word cozy means cute, tender, or comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable, you choose the pronunciation you prefer. Is this true or false? The two mice are male. Feel free to write your answer in the comments. What kind of story is this and why? Can the theme of the story be useful for your life? Remember, theme is a lesson. Don't confuse theme with tema. It's not tema. I mean, it says B1 there, but feel free to give your opinion on this one. 
This is a typical format in IELTS questions for essays. You should write your answer in the comments. Make it short. To what extent you agree with the moral of the story? Remember, the moral or theme of the story was Poverty with security is better than plenty in the midst of fear and uncertainty. So, do you agree or not? And why? Now the answers for level 1. This tiny thing here is a root. It's a part of a plant. This thing is called an acorn. And finally this one. It's a wheat stalk. What is the correct plural of mouse? It's not rats because, well, rats are different. It's not mouses because this looks horrible. Mice. Remember, mouse has an irregular plural. Mice. One mouse, two mice. What was the country food like for the city mouse? Well, remember in the first part, part one of the story, they mentioned this. The city mouse thinks the food is plain. Plain is like it's too simple, no flavor, nothing special. Now, what is polite? The answer is e, to have good manners. Polite is not necessarily educated because educated depends more on the level of a study of a person. The word cozy means comfortable or comfortable. Again, depends the pronunciation. It's not cute, it's not tender, so no. It's more like you feel really nice. You feel excellent on that place. You're like, oh my god. Just like my chair. The two mice are male. Is that true or false? It's false. Both mice are female. So what kind of story is this? I mentioned the type of story in the beginning. It's a fable. A fable usually has animals that can speak. And in the end, they have a moral or a lesson for the people. Can the theme of the story be useful in your life? Well, it's about your life. Personally, in mine, I don't like it much because I prefer to take risks. So sometimes you just have to take a leap of faith. And it sounds kind of conformist. Again, this one is more argumentative than actual opinion, so to what extent you agree with the moral of the story. One perspective can be that they agree with this lesson. Why? Because, well, security is better and you need to live your life between your means, which can be a perspective for some people. I disagree with this. Again, because it sounds too conformist and invites people not to take risks. And sometimes you have to take risks in order to progress. Well, preferably a calculated risk, because obviously you don't want to feel scared or uncertain all your life. But I do think that this message sounds like something similar to control the masses. And that's it for today's story. Remember, write your answers in the comments. You don't have to only write your answers. Maybe you can write your opinion about the story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as this helps the channel a whole lot. Thank you for your continued support and SAR out. Bye. Take care.